good throw. Huh? I said good throw. Oh, thank you. Um, beautiful out here, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, um, here, I'm, I'm Graham, by the way. Segan. Nice to meet you. Um, have fun with your camera or whatever. Well, thank you. Weren't you, weren't you back there? Yeah, I saw you headed for the rock. What rock? It's known as Godfrey's Rock. A lot of people have died there. Wow, thanks. <laughs> Actually, really thanks. Hey, Segan. I've gotta go find something to eat. Uh, how about you join me? Is that all I get for saving your life? I, I mean, I... It's all right. I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'll take you up on that offer. So, what do you do other than travel? I don't really do much of anything these days, actually, but I was still in um, paleontology up at Pillar Point uh, just about a month ago. Why'd you leave? I guess I just felt suffocated up there, and <laughs> you, you know, you can only be so excited about bones and dead things for so long. <laughs> oh man, a month ago. That feels like a lifetime ago. But. Anyway, what about you? What keeps you busy? Uh, high school? Uh, no, I graduated. Off to college. Oh, nice. What are you planning on studying? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Don't tell me, don't tell me. Let me guess. Photography. No. Psychology. Ah. No way, you know, I was actually gonna have minor in that, but it turns out you can't. Apparently they killed off that program at a third point. Yeah. I was going to study there, but until they closed it. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry. So, where are you headed to now? New York. Wow. Mm-hmm. So, um, uh, why New York? I mean, sales closer, has a trust go program. My parents are moving out there. Oh. So you're really leaving then? And, uh, you've been here a minute, yeah? 17 years. Dude, 17 years? And your family is leaving now? It's a long story. Don't you want to stay here? Yeah. I mean, I've lived here my whole life, but... But why now? It's just the right time. Well, if you want to go to Seattle, I think you should go. You know, you can't let other people tell you what to do with your life. You know, I never learn. said I didn't want to go to New York. Jeez, I'm, um, I'm sorry. You know, I'm kind of from a place like this. And for me, you know, it's just, it's a small town in the middle of the woods. And I was stupid. My friends, you know, friends, made me feel like my life was pointless there. And so I left it. And I blew up pretty bad on some pretty good people. And from there, I just, I chased these fairy tales to college, you know, just expecting something better. But when I got to college, it was just so different from what I was expecting. I knew myself, right? But when I got to college, things changed. You know, I can't think of a piece of me that wasn't disrespected, you know, they. Okay. I had never been in a serious relationship before, and I didn't want to be in one. But when I got to college, it was, it was impressive. Again. It was just impressive how much of a problem everyone had with that. You know, they wouldn't stop telling me to experiment. 
to let loose because they had and everyone has. And so I... <clears throat> So eventually I, I experimented and I didn't like it. I, I really didn't like it and it messed with me because it wasn't me and now I'm caught between knowing myself and being afraid of myself and that's why I'm here, you know. I still love bones and dead things. I, <laughs> I guess I just can't deal with living people apparently. I think I understand what you're saying to a basic level. When I was 14, I was put in public school. People are unintentionally really hard. Right? I mean, the amount of times I was told, you know, I didn't know anything about anyone, you know, people are just jerks and... As I was saying, people are unintentionally really hard to be around. I like to think I found myself at a young age. I have goals, and I know how to achieve them. That translated to me being interested in an education, which most people didn't understand. It's not anyone's fault. We're all different. I just had to learn how to be happy with myself. That isn't your job, though. Yes, it is. It's up to us to find ourselves in a way that makes us happy. You know, if the world doesn't like it, who cares? If you can find yourself for yourself, you will be happy. That actually makes a lot of sense. I know. So what's next? I don't know. I really don't know. Graham, you should go back to Pillar Point. <laughs> no, I'm not going to go back. You need to do what makes you happy. I just got into a really deep and meaningful conversation with a random stranger I didn't even know existed, you know, <laughs> two hours ago. No offense, Egan, but that's... That's really weird, but thank you, Segan, really, thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, I have to go. I, uh, oh, um, okay. Um, it was good meeting you. Good Same. luck. And um, enjoy New York. <laughs>